Oh, hi. Hello. Welcome. So kind of you to join me. Make a wish and let your dreams stay fine. Oh, to please grab your hat, we flying, it'll be a delight. Open up your eyes to the magical skies. So full of wonder, fun, adventure, oh, jolly grand time. Are you ready for another story time? Delira and Xera, Chucky, take a little spark no time. What do you do with ideas? Big things, brave things, smart things, silly things, good things, things like stories, artwork, journeys, inventions, communities, products, and cures. Everything you see around you was once an idea. What do you do with an idea? A remarkable idea can come to you at any moment. But what would you do with it? Hello kids, are you ready for today's read aloud? Yes? No? Yes? No? Yes? Yes! But before I begin, I have to ask you a very, very serious question. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> it's time for another story time with Gilbert Ian! <laughs> The moral of this story is extremely important, and you'll know why. So be sure to listen in until the very end of the story. What do you do with an idea? Written by Kobe Yamada, illustrated by Mae Beesom. One day, I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered. What do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it. So I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. But it followed me. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger, and we became friends. I showed it to other people even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? 
This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it. I played with it. But most of all, I gave it my attention. I love these illustrations, they're gorgeous. Just gorgeous. My idea grew and grew. And so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof, where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big. And then, to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands. Because, it said, it is good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. I love the fact that they put a crown on the egg. Oh my gosh. Boys and girls, the book just went to a different place. <laughs> then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. I love what they did here. We went from black and white with little touches of color. We had a slow progression of color. Here we are. Wow. God. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And it's true, isn't it? Isn't that how ideas work? They become a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. Amazing. I love discovering great books. I love it. Whew. We're going to have to revisit this author, boys and girls. We need to revisit this author. He has various books that have the same type of concept. We're going to do all of them. I've decided we're doing one a month. Enchanting. And there we have it. This book is quite special, don't you agree? I believe this book is not just for children. I believe it's for older kids as well. I really like the meaningful lessons hidden between simple wording and colorful pages. Eggs or ideas as illustrated in the book are viewed as fragile. You need to keep an egg warm and close to you for it to hatch into this new life. I thought it was the perfect representation of something intangible as an idea. This book exceeded my expectations. What's the takeaway? Well, that we shouldn't be afraid to truly own it when we get an idea. We have to spend time and learn to understand what it means. While it is growing, study this idea. 
to see what secrets it holds. Take the time to improve it and give it space to develop. Your idea may be the only one that changes the world. So never kill an idea before giving it a chance to grow. Thanks so much for watching, amigos and flamingos. Did you enjoy today's story? What did you learn from today's story? Sound off in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Don't forget to give this video a like, a heart, or a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out my YouTube channel and subscribe. Till next time, please stay safe, be kind to one another, and as always, virtual hugs for you all. Bye. Oh, do please grab your hat, we're flying, you be a delight. Open up your eyes to the magical skies. So full of wonder, fun, adventure, jolly grand time.